I'm uh, I'm Jero. Hey, yo, Ditto. You rock the disco. Hey, hey, look who's here. I'm back. Back in the New York room. A guide to recognizing your Saints author, Ditto Montiel, has taken his autobiography of growing up in Astoria, Queens, and directed it for the big screen. Ditto had to make a few changes concerning his buddies because he couldn't afford to tell the real story of what happened to them in the film, so he mixed up their stories instead. There's a kid, Giuseppe, who, who he was deported to Italy for getting arrested too many times that I grew up with, and we put him in the film, but in the film he, he gets killed by getting hit by a train, and, and we had known a kid named Billy who, who had died riding on the trains, but we couldn't get, like, permission to ride on a train and smash it and, and all that. So we, we did that and you know when we were just in the Venice Film Festival I called Giuseppe up to come over because he's in Milano and he's like I, I heard I died you know he was all excited. He, was, he actually liked that he died. Ditto talks about how the idea for calling the book a guide to recognizing your saints came to him. The book was about people I kind of felt lucky to have met you know just little stories you know like oh here's a here's a person and you know I followed a book called the book the picture book of saints that I have since I'm a kid and, and there's a picture of a saint and a story and then a picture so I, I had a picture of a guy that I knew and I, I sort of wrote a little thing about him and then another one and I was like wow this is kind of an easy way to get a book out you know before Ditto became an author and a director, he formed a punk rock band in the 80s called Gutter Boy as the lead singer, who back then signed an unprecedented deal for a million dollars with Geffen Records. Ditto says he still keeps in touch with the guys. Danny actually, he, he wrote one of the cues in the film, and Johnny is driving me crazy all the time because he wants to know who's playing him. I'm like, nobody! You know, so, but I see him all the time. Ditto has another book coming out in February called The Clapper about a guy who claps for TV shows when they can't get audience members. He's also been hired by Paramount to write a screenplay called Running. In the end, I left everything and everyone. But no one, no one has ever left me.